What up, it's your boy, the Troop 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on your face, neck, and chest. And with the tragic loss of Supergirl, R.I.P., R.I.P., such a shame, such a shame. I was thinking like, yo, should the Arrowverse, should it just end already? Like, I don't know, because I don't, does anyone really care about this universe anymore? The, I mean, the quality of this show has just gone downhill. No one cares. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's just a nuisance at this point. Like, like, does it still have fans? Like, I genuinely, I genuinely want to know if this, if this series or if this whole universe still has fans. I mean, I've watched the Crisis Universe. That was good. But let's be honest, we all watched it for Brandon Ralph to come back as Superman and to see like how this whole works out at the end. And it really didn't change anything like that much. It's still going to be the same Arrowverse that you've watched for years and years and years. I mean, the first two seasons of Arrow, phenomenal. Great. I, I loved it. First season of Arrow. The first season of Arrow. Yeah, first two seasons of Arrow. Great. First season of Flash, fantastic. I was like, yo, this is dope. This is what I want to see. I hope we get to continue this and, and evolve this into even a better show. And this might be like one of the best DC shows, comic book shows of all time. And then we saw season three of Arrow, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it, and it just was so, so par. It just, I, I lost interest after season two. After season two, they should have just left Arrow alone, like ended right there. Same with Flash. After season one, I don't know what happened, bro. Like, what happened? Did the writers just take a day off where they're all doing drugs? Like, like what was going on in that writing room staff? Like, this because it was pure garbage. Garbage for French. And then you have Legends of Tomorrow. Again, first season, decent, pretty good. And then season two, three, four, four, it just, it just became the DC version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, I don't want to see that. Like, I, I don't, don't want to see that for Legends of Tomorrow. Like, bro, this is DC. Like, it just became way too goofy. Then, of course, you had Supergirl, which is, like, absolute garbage, trash, juice. Like, thank you, Airplane, for making your introduction again to land safely. But, oh, this is so, like, and then what, what else you had? Uh, what, what, I'm trying to think about Batwoman. Pfft. Like, no one cares about that. Like, come on. Like, who's, like, let's be real. Who's watching that? Unless you're, like, a 12-year-old girl. If you're a grown-ass man, you're not watching Batwoman. Come on, let's be real. The only good show that they have right now is Black Lightning. Like, I dig, I like Black Lightning. Uh, I thought, I thought the, uh, season two, three, a little weird. This is a, uh, a little weird. I was like, okay, well, I think you, I think y'all need to get back on track. But the first season, again, there's a track record here. First season of DC TV shows are great. And then after that, it just falls apart. It just falls off the wagon. So I don't know what they're going to do. I, I just, I just don't care about this universe anymore. Because it, 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 Superman and Lois, let's see how that turns out. I think it's going to suffer the same fate uh, other than I think this time around. It's going to have a piss poor season one. And if it, if it, and if it gets to season two, three, four, five, God help us all. Because I think it's going to I think it's just going to be a train wreck. It's going to be a train wreck. Again, I think it's like they have some of the same writers of Supergirl. And you know, since Supergirl is canceled, you know uh, Melissa Benoist, she's gonna make a cameo appearance, and they're probably gonna like, they're probably gonna like um try to shoe shoehorn her into the into Superman and Lois. It just like again, it's just like what's gonna be the difference? You already treated this character like crap on Supergirl, so w like what are you gonna do that's gonna convince me that you you're gonna change everything, that it's gonna be better this time around? It's not going to be better this time around. It's going to be the same crap that you saw in previous seasons of Supergirl. Like, it's not going to change. And see, and The Flash, I don't know what's going on with The Flash. Like, like, like that whole series just fell off a cliff. Like, like, what happened? Like, I think, what are they now? In season five or six? Like, I can't tell anymore. It's like, it, it, it's all so, it's like, it's all blended in. And it's all so, it, like, it's all familiar. It's all the same crap that you've seen over the years. Like, there's no difference anymore. What's the difference? What's the difference? What are you going to do to convince me to watch this show again? To, to give it a, another chance? To give it another go? What are you going to do? It's going to be the same crap. It, like it's almost like it's run its course already it's run its course it's over just end it just end it you got a good run i, I, I think like most of these shows have like well like over like five seasons 
that's a pretty good run if you ask me. So why not just end it on a high note? This, like this, like next year should be like the like the series finales for all of these shows. Just end it all, and then like reboot, restart. Not on the CW, but restart on HBO Max because <laughs> that, that that's all like all the good DC shows now are gonna be on HBO Max because it's gonna have that higher quality to it, which I hope. But it's gonna have the higher quality to it. It's gonna have higher budgets. It's gonna mean a lot more. It's gonna have it's gonna have more viewers. Because like the CW has like a small audience, a small loyal fan base, but again, it's small. It's not like Game of Thrones or or um like uh what, what name uh, another popular show. It's not like that. It's a small audience that that we enjoyed for a couple of years, but now it's just like again, like I said, it's run its course. It's over, it's done with. So next is so um, again, good luck to Superman and Lois. I have no interest in that show at all. I'll probably watch no, you know what? I'll watch the first two episodes. After that, if I don't like it, then I'm just like I'm, I'm off. I'm off the train. I'm off the bandwagon. I'm, I'm off the C, the DC TV show train. And I'm not gonna watch it anymore. I'm just gonna wait to all the HBO Max shows, all the DC HBO Max shows. I'm just gonna watch that instead because CW is not offering the CW is not offering me any quality content. So why should I care? And why should you care? Anyway. Those are my thoughts. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more DC content. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and we can continue the DC conversation like we always do. And yeah, as far as CW, good luck. I don't care. I don't think anybody else cares. <laughs> you know, if you look at the ratings, it's just going downhill. So I don't know what they're gonna do. Good luck to it. But everybody else, I think we're all gonna just you know turn into HBO Max and watch the Batfleck show. Hopefully, as always, truth out.